I think that's actually a wonderful moment to receive Australia's uh, Premier Journalism Award for Julian because one of the things that's changed in the last couple of years is public opinion in Australia, which has now swung absolutely behind Julian and the desire to bring their citizen home. And over 80% of Australians in recent public opinion polls want to see Julian returned to his land. And we should not forget that Julian is an Australian citizen. He's not an American. He's not a United States citizen. At the time he published the WikiLeaks revelations on the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, he was not in the United States. And this is the most outrageous claim of extraterritorial jurisdiction by the United States, where they claim the ability to take any citizen of any country, from any country around the world, and take them away for breaking a law of the United States. That is simply outrageous. It's a breach of all human rights, period. And you know, it's also very stupid because the days of America being the all-powerful hegemon country of the world are behind us. What are they going to say if China starts taking American journalists from around the world and taking them off under a claim of universal jurisdiction? It's not a game that only one country can play, and it's extremely, extremely stupid of them. I believe this is actually while Julian has been detained all these years, I believe this is actually the fifth time I have accepted a senior award on behalf of my friend Julian. I would like to say to these award-giving bodies, if ever you want to give an award to anybody else, <laughs> I, I've just returned from a tour of the United States where I met hundreds of activists, possibly thousands of activists who are out there. I met activists who are every single week picketing the New York Times. I met activists who every single week are picketing the Department of Justice in Washington. I met activists who have spray painted their local courts with the Assange. All over the world, people are taking a stand for Julian because more and more people are understanding that his freedom is our freedom and if they can do this Absolutely. to him, they can do this to anybody. Yeah. Disgusting piece of architecture. <laughs> Which is flying the, uh, the butcher's apron, the imperial flag that oversaw bloodshed all over the world. Yes. Yeah. And it's mockingly called the Royal Courts of Justice. And yet we have seen it perpetrate some of the most outrageous examples of injustice it is impossible to imagine. Yes. Yeah. We have a case where the defendant, Julian, has been videotaped by the CIA in his meetings with his defense counsel in breach of attorney-client privilege. There is no court in any genuine democracy in the world where that in itself would not be enough to have the case dismissed. We have a case where he is being extradited under an extradition treaty which specifically states there shall be no extradition, no political extradition. There shall be no political extradition. And yet the court has ruled that that extradition treaty has no force in UK law because it has not specifically been entered into UK law by Parliament. But at the same time, it has no force in UK law, but he is being extradited under it. Can anybody figure that out? No, yeah. These are just some examples of the quite extraordinary judicial twistings and turns of what is a charade and a farce of a process that has nothing to do with justice whatsoever. Yeah. On the other way around. <laughs> yeah. WikiLeaks gave us, the people, 
the ability to know the truth, the ability to see behind the veil, to understand what government is doing by giving us first-hand documents that enabled us to learn what happens in the world not through the filter of state or billionaire-owned media. That was the great revelation that WikiLeaks brought to us and that chance for freedom, that empowering of ordinary citizens is why they hate Julian. Because Julian strengthened all of our knowledge of the world in which we live. Julian revealed the crimes of states. That is why they are persecuting him and that is why we will never stop fighting for him to be free. Thank you.